Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today I am talking about a particular subject that came up when the Lord spoke to me about Sodom and Gomorrah. And as you very well know, those that have read the Bible, you know that Sodom and Gomorrah was wicked, wicked cities. And the Lord, unfortunately, had to destroy them. He used angels to warn the people before it happened. So they did have ample opportunity to get their business straight. And of course, as you very well know, even today, there are so many cities that are under curses and they have all sorts of problems, towns, boroughs, you name it. And well, the people just don't want to turn back to the Lord. The people don't want to do what's right. And so things happen. Okay. One particular family was fleeing away from Sodom and Gomorrah. And as you know, uh, that uh, Lot's wife turned back, looked at the city, and ended up turning into a pillar of salt. Now, this is where things get interesting, okay? And please do take the time to read the story if you're not familiar with it. But I'm using this particular story as an example as to what the Lord showed me in the spiritual realm concerning Lot's wife. Lot turning, Lot's wife turning into this pillar of salt was as a result of disobedience, plain and simple. There were instructions given and she chose to do what she wanted to do. Some of you all instructions were given, whether it was at the workplace, in the church, at home. Maybe someone sat down and talked to you about some things. And so instructions were given. You knew what you were supposed to do, yet you didn't do them. And so now you have many challenges as a result. Okay. If you don't listen to the Lord and you don't listen to the men and women who are giving you some sound advice, well, you cannot blame anyone but yourself. Okay. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt. The Lord said that he could have taken any number of things to send a message about what it means to look back. When a city is under a curse, when a city is going through much, he could have used anything. He could have turned her into an animal. He could have, you know, uh, caused a storm to, you know, come down upon her. But instead, he turned her into a pillar of salt. If you run enough water on salt, eventually it turns into a grainy gravel of sorts and then eventually it becomes dust and then dust simply blows away okay it goes right back into the ground okay now your memory your reputation the things that you go through as results of looking back being disobedient not following instructions can vanish it can be no more a good quality relationship, a good quality reputation, a good marriage can become no more. It can fade away. It can blow away like dust. But before it gets to that place where it is just wasted away, just gone, it's going to become hard, right? A heart's going to become hard. A situation is going to become difficult. People are going to grow cold around you. Where they were once warm and friendly, they become stubborn and abusive and bitter. Okay? You look back on issues. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe you look back on people, places, and things that don't mean you any good and you bring them into your present life. Maybe you speak too much about the past. Whatever it is, though... It is infiltrating your future. You see, Lot's wife couldn't go on with them because what she seen was so horrific and so bad that she would have taken all of that and she would have put it upon that family and then it would have affected their future. Sometimes people remove people out of our lives because their past is dictating our present and then eventually it affects our future. Sometimes God has to just... Take people and move them out of our lives, whether in death, whether through various issues that they go through, 
whether they become so cold hearted toward us or what have you to the point where we don't want them anymore. Either way, God's got to get them away from us because he's got something that he needs to do. And that family was fleeing and there was a future ahead for them and they wanted to a better life and so forth. So we can't bring Lot's wife along, Lord Jesus, on this journey. We can't bring a disobedient, cursed person along on this journey. We can't pick up that pillar of salt and bring it along with us. It's too heavy. It's too hard. And what are we going to do with a pillar of salt, Jesus? See, anything else, mm, if it would have been like a little wounded animal that he could have turned her into, they probably would have picked her up and carried her, Lord Jesus, and she would have been a problem. If God would have turned her into something like a storm of sorts, so they may have, you know, tried to hang on for a while while they grieved, uh, you know, what was taking place. But you see a pillar of salt. No, nah, we can't do anything with that. We can't hug it. We can't do too much with it. <laughs> or maybe we could give it a kiss or something. But we got to go. We got to run because no telling what God's going to do. He might turn us into a pillar of salt. I mean, just imagine somebody turning into stone right in front of you. That's freakish. That's scary. That's enough to make you want to keep going. You see? So I'm saying to you all that whatever situation that you're going through, whatever is keeping you in a place of bondage as a result of your past. Maybe it's, you know, some things that you can't forgive your wife for, uh, some things that you can't forgive your husband for, some stuff that keeps popping up into your mind every time a certain subject matter comes up or every time you're in a situation at work or what have you. The more you keep looking back, the more you're affecting your present and your future. If you're not looking back to learn a lesson or two, then... Hey, there's no sense in keep going back. If you're not looking back with the intention of healing, okay, healing what was done to you, I'm looking to be healed in Jesus name, then uh, why are we going back? If going back means that it's going to be more drama, if it means that God himself even instructed you not to look back, not to move back, not to call again, not to go there, not to do that, not to return and all this then don't do it because if God himself has to warn you that there's trouble if you do rest assured there's trouble you don't want to be that one that ends up being cold-hearted confused bitter angry upset and everything else unforgiving because you looked back because you kept thinking about the past because you just couldn't seem to let go of certain things and that's why some of you all God is not going to open up doors for you um, not anytime too soon until you get that thing straight within you that you want to keep looking back and returning back and let me get one more hit from back in the day. Come on now. Some of you all know what I'm talking about. OK, some of you all, if you're not addicted to drugs, you're addicted to uh, bad relationships, toxic relationships with family and with friends and with exes and so forth. Well, if this situation right here isn't helping me out and if I'm running towards something that's not going to do this, that and the other, you don't know you haven't even gotten there yet. You, <laughs> But already cursing it because you got to go back because you want to go back because you still tripping on back in the day or because you want back in the day. Well, you just end up you just might end up getting caught up in a whole bunch of foolishness too. looking back. OK. So enough of all of that stuff going on, uh, you know, with looking back and uh, seeing things for what they really are. You know what you need to do. You don't need anybody to keep telling you. You know what you need to do. But if you continue, then, you know, you're going to experience the cold heartedness, the upset, the bitterness and all that comes from when God is putting a curse upon a land, upon a community, um, when God is upset with his people who are disobedient and don't want to follow his instruction. There's a lot that happens, a lot of negativity that happens and people who we thought were believers and who we thought were once close to the God, to God ends up being destroyed. 
emotionally physically and spiritually it happens gradually with some people or sometimes it happens suddenly next thing you know somebody was with us and then just like that they're gone and did they have their heart right before they left a lot of times we know that the fruit on people's tree they didn't have their their heart right before they left here and that should give us motivation to want to do what's right. That should give us motivation to want to keep looking ahead and not looking back. That should give us the motivation to stop carrying or attempting to carry pillars of salt with us. <laughs> okay. So I thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. And as always, to God be the glory.